What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna be a bit all over the place. Right now I am at my parents' house grabbing this trailer, just jacking it up a little bit so I can back under it. Then I have to drop this off at our shop. Rodrigo and a couple other guys are gonna be using this to move plows out of our shop to other locations that we store them for uh, during the during the summer and then we grab them from there and bring them back to our shop next winter. So. Rodrigo's been working in our shop all week. He is getting all the trucks neutral washed and everything, getting ready for storage, getting all the plows off of them and whatnot. So the time has come to finally clean up our shop and get all the snow equipment behind us. But after that, I have to run and grab expansion joint for that garage job that we are doing. We have to put that along the whole foundation wall uh, before we pour the slab. So I got to pick that up install that and then I have a update on some stuff that we did yesterday I didn't record when I was there I met a couple guys there in the afternoon and we just hustled through and got some things done but I will show you when we get there and then after that I might be going with my uncle to help grout uh, that kitchen that we did there's some tile that they didn't finish or something like that I don't know I wasn't there but he called me this morning and said he might need a hand later so me and him might be teaming up and getting that done later this afternoon. But let me get this trailer connected and get down to my shop and I will catch up with you guys when I am down there. All right guys, so I am back at this garage job. So yesterday I was here with a couple guys and we dug this whole section up here, basically everything from that piece of rebar there straight across this was all dug out this gas line is 40 or not gas line water line is 48 inches in the ground so it's three feet below grade pretty much this is up much higher than it really should be but the water line has to be that low so that it doesn't freeze and then your sewer is 24 inches which they both come out right here so we dug out we dug up the inside and the outside then we refilled it compacted it put more gravel and then we added all the rebar and wire mesh that we needed so right now i am gonna put this expansion joint here that i picked up but it seems like they recently changed what it is because this is like foam and the old expansion joint was similar but it was like garage stuff would be coated in I don't really know what it was coated in but it basically there's there was two different types one that could get wet and one that couldn't get wet so you would use the stuff that could get wet in garages so if you wash the floor or you drive in here with water on your tires and stuff it doesn't deteriorate and then basically you don't have any expansion joint anymore but the purpose the purpose of expansion joint is so when the concrete expands and contracts it doesn't crack so the expansion joint goes along your wall here and it'll go flush this is this is the top of your slab here this red line so it'll go flush here four inches down and it goes around the entire thing i will have to cut little notches for the rebar because the rebar goes into the wall so that's what i'm gonna get up to right now and that is about all i have to do all right so as you can see here if i put this piece on my line there but i come here the rebar holds it up because the rebar is an inch and a half up into the slab there so i have to line these up and i have to cut a little notch at every single piece of rebar here so i'm gonna have to do that around the whole thing and where the wire mesh is tight to the wall i'll have to hold it up and then try and slide it down but i'm gonna have to go around the whole thing and do it so I'm gonna do all my full pieces first, and then this last piece I have here, I will use for all the short pieces, all the cuts. But I have another 10 pieces here, another bundle. So 
if I need it, I have it, but I don't think I will need that at all. So let me start with this one and then we'll work our way around. So that's how it's done. Now I just gotta put a couple nails in it. So we only use one inch concrete nails for this. So they go in pretty easy here.
So we got all the expansion joint in all the way around. Cut the small pieces for the front. Cut this one small piece over here. So now that that is all done, it will also make it easier to pour it to the right level because you have a black line now rather than just your chalk. So we will be adding two by fours every nine feet, I believe. Uh, I got to measure our power screen, but I think it's nine feet or 10 feet. So we put the two by four level with your expansion joint all the way on the same pitch. That way you can run your screen across it and you know that your floor will be level across the whole way. But we are in pretty good shape. I don't know if you saw the two guys that got here while I was doing this. They were the building inspectors, so they approved this and we passed. So we are ready to pour. I think we're not pouring until Tuesday though. It is only Thursday now. So we got a couple days. Tomorrow I think we'll come here, or actually Monday we'll come here and put those two by fours in. Um, basically what you do with that is you put the two by four in, you screed it all, and then you pull that out and you fill the hole that the two by four created. So you'll have a nice flat and perfectly level floor once you're done. But if you guys have any questions that you might not understand or anything about this expansion joint or really anything you see, definitely leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.